Hey, I'm Max Alka. Welcome to our new series, The Sonic Collection. We will be skipping Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus. And going straight to Sly 2, Band of Thieves. Personally, I never really liked Thievius Raccoonus. Not because it was hard compared to the others, it's just it didn't really ring out to me like the others did. Now, if you're a fan of this series, you can hate me for that all you want. That's fine. This is just a personal preference, not saying anything about the fandom in general. Let's just go. King Duck, I hear you, Blizzard. No, Sly, I'm the wizard, and you're sitting duck. I read you loud and clear, Lizard. No, I, I'm... Forget it, you're not taking this seriously. Yeah, I'm not. Look, Bentley, I know this is your first time out in the field, but you've gotta loosen up. If we're gonna get to those clockwork parts, I need you on your toes. So in plain talk, what's your status? Well, I've established myself in the basement. And I'm pretty sure I can rewire the service elevator if you can power it up from that security station. Hang tough, pal. Might take some time, but I'll figure out a way to get up there. Something, pal. There are a few points to be had in here. gotten used to that. The delay between what I'm seeing and what I'm hearing. <laughs> isn't triggering any alarms. The spotlights are offline. There goes the laser security system. I'm working on the security gate. Presto, all clear. Thanks, pal. For your first time out, you did pretty well. Oh, this operation is far from complete. Now that the lasers and spotlights are offline, Furry should be moving into position for your rendezvous. I'll stay here and provide computer support while you go on ahead. Thank <laughs> you. 
everything. According to my information, the clockwork parts are being stored up there. Now to get access, you're gonna have to meet up with Murray at the rendezvous point. Unfortunately, the route through the garden is filled with guards. No problem. I'll just take the long way around. If memory serves, you need to jump and hit the circle button to run along ropes. <laughs> Citizen, I hope you weren't harmed by my meteoropic entrance. No, Murray, I, I kept at a safe distance. Good, good. The Thunderflop knows neither friend nor foe, only destruction. Yeah, could you maybe channel some of that raw energy into the security gate? Of course. It is nothing before the Murray. <laughs> Another barrier stands before you. Fear not, I shall bend it like the truth. Solid work, Murray. You're really in the zone. My hulking frame is too much for that puny rope. You go ahead and unlock the doors from the inside. I'll be waiting in the hallway to help you carry out the clockwork parts. I don't get it, Sly. The clockwork part should be here. This is all wrong. We need to pull the plug on this operation right now. Freeze, Cooper. Inspector Fox, as beautiful and unpredictable as ever. Whereas you crooks are so predictable, you always return to the scene of the crime. Crime? I haven't stolen anything. Yet. Oh, really? Then who broke in last night and made off with all the clockwork parts? You've got the motive. Someone already stole the parts? Don't play dumb with me. It might not have been him, Comrita. The method of entry and guard casualties all point to this being a claw gang job. The claw gang? Constable Neela, I allowed you to sit in on this stakeout as a favor to the Contessa. I really don't need any help. Oh, I think you might. Look at the facts. Facts! Sly Cooper is right here. I caught him red-handed. I'm just saying that there are other criminals in the world other than... Sly Cooper! After him! You can't run forever! Oh, uh, yes, I can. Oh, Wait up, fly! Shake a leg, Murray. It's time to go. Hey, come back here, Ringtail! This wasn't part of the plan! Yeah, well, this is where things get fun. Freeze! This is getting a little hot. 
You guys go warm up the van. I'll keep Carmelita busy. You're all going to jail. Pick me up at the rendezvous. The lead to the air. Hold still! Yep. Stop! Thief! Carmelita's just as angry as ever. She's really quite lovely when she's angry. And that Constable Mila, was a reference to the Claw Gang just a slip of the tongue or an intentional clue? Either way, it's her only lead on the missing clockwork parts. Clockwork. He was consumed with jealousy for the Cooper clan's thieving reputation. Is it inappropriate to refer to him as a monster? No, not at all. What kind of person stays alive for hundreds of years with the express intention of wiping out a rival's family line? Imagine the hatred fueling that first decision to replace his mortal body with soulless machinery. Ultimately, it did the trick. Clockwork lived on. He caught up with my parents, and I wound up in an orphanage. It's there that I met my pals, Bentley, the brains of our outfit, and Murray, the brawn. They turned out to be all the family I needed. Two years ago, I thought I'd finished it. How naive to think I could so easily put an end to that kind of hatred. And now he's back. In pieces, sure, but the threat is real. Does the Claw Gang even realize what they've stolen? I don't know what's in my future, but I won't let it be a repeat of my past. Sly 2, Band of Thieves. I had to call in a few favors to get the goods on the Claw Gang's local operator. Dimitri, a sort of underworld celebrity, equally at home in high-class art circles and shady back-alley crimes. He was once a passionate young art student who worked hard to develop his own visionary style. Unfortunately, the art world wasn't quite ready for his kinetic aesthetic. So he gave them what they wanted and started forging old masterpieces. His way of punishing those with bad taste. Dimitri now runs a nightclub on the west side. The thumping music, colorful light shows, and a hint of danger lure in chic young patrons from far and wide. And it's here, hidden somewhere, where we'll find the clockwork tail feathers. What Dimitri plans to do with the clockwork part is beyond me. But those plans end tonight. Hi, Cooper and the gang in. The Black Chateau. There we 
together. this nightclub. I share in your enthusiasm, but before we hit the inside, we'll need to do a little reconnaissance work. What do you have in mind? I've installed this special antenna on the safe house to help with our first job, hacking into Dimitri's satellite array. The coordinates for the job start beacon have been uploaded to your binoculum. Make your way to this position, and I'll give you a full briefing on our objective. I'm on my way. Fine. If you click the L3 button, you know, press the left analog stick, I'll beam some virtual markers into your feet back. They'll help you find your way around. If no markers are in view, use the right analog stick to move the camera and look around for them. Remember, the view is always better from the rooftops. Sly, I need you to hack into Dimitri's communication array so that we'll have access to his database. How am I supposed to do that? To start, you'll need to get to the top of that tower. Then, reposition the satellite dish to point at my safe house antenna. If you want to climb on stuff, jump and hit the circle button to grab hold. Try climbing up that pipe. Right. Jump and press the circle button to climb pipes. I'm on it. Hacking was so simple. Okay, only one more to go. Activate your And we'd all be screwed. By pressing the L3 button to find the last dish waypoint. Remember, the view is always better from a rooftop. Why you could hold down the R1 button while walking to break into a fast run, but be careful, as this is sure to be loud enough to alert any guards in the vicinity. work. So, where do we go from here? Your next job is to break into the nightclub and take some reconnaissance photos of the clockwork tail feathers. To get inside, you'll have to sneak through an old wine cellar beneath town. Okay, I'll head up for the cellar.
You don't see me. Good to see you, little buddy. I guess the way through the wine cellar is guarded by those rats. Bentley thought you might like some help clearing them out. Sounds like fun. You and me, back to back? Totally. Outnumbered, fighting impossible odds. It's perfect. All right, pal. Let's get to it. Fear the Murray! Okay, forgot about that. Mm -hmm. Hold on, Sly. Let me lower those bars for you. There you go. To get over this thing, you'll have to double jump. Hit the X button to jump, then, while in the air, press it again to get some extra air time. <sighs> Looks like you're on your own from here. Eh, I'm used to it. Thanks for the help. Anytime, partner. Getting coins there, everywhere. Conveniently placed table. I don't know why I went under that one. Guards are too tough to fight head on. Crawl under the tables to sneak around him. It's completely on the other side that time. This air vent leads into Dimitri's nightclub. Hit the circle button to crawl inside. In order to shut 
shut down those yellow lasers, you'll need to take out that guard. Sneak up behind him and press the triangle button to knock him into the air. Then, the square button to slam and finish him off. Got that? The triangle button, then the square button. fight with those rats, the sneak attack won't work. It's purely a stealth move. Here we go. What's the point of that? Click the right analog stick to 
to bring up your Badachu cup. It's already outfitted with a spy cam. Slide, use the right analog stick to zoom in and out on photo targets. Tap the R1 button to take a picture when you've got a good shot. That generator seems to be powering the security systems down here. What else would it be powering? Ingenious. Dimitri's using the clockwork tail feathers as printing plates. Given their rare alloy, they'll never wear out. Unlimited forged money. That's our target. Dimitri, professional lounge lizard and international forger. That should do it, Sly. Head back to the safe house and we'll cook up a plan of attack. The recon photos are a grim reminder of what the modern thief is up against. Spotlights, stepped up patrols, the sum of it all renders a direct assault impossible. To solve this puzzle, I'm going to need some more intelligence. First, replace this bugged painting with one Dimitri has in his office. Once in place, we should be able to listen in on his communications. Second, if you see the boss, tail him. We might learn something from studying his movements. Once we've got a proper understanding of the operation, those clockwork tail feathers are as good as ours. Oh, excuse me. Well, that was it for this episode. So, thanks for watching. Until next time, this is Hot Fox Sign off. Stay sharp.